Up for sales is 1990 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ62. Actually built, I believe, August of 89. One of my personal cars. I've had a few of these, absolutely love them. Might regret selling this one, but can't keep everything. I flew to Los Angeles and bought this uh, late last year. It has never left Los Angeles until I brought it here to Tennessee. This is a true rust-free FJ. And it has not been welded on, not been patched up. Nothing like that. This is a just an honest, original FJ62. Original bumpers, headlights, grill, turn signals, side markers, tail lights, mirrors. Nothing aftermarket on it, with the exception of a, it had a windshield replacement a long time ago. But correct windshield replacement with the trim in the rubber gasket. Beautiful, original chrome wheels a little bit of water on that one washed it about a half hour ago done a lot of work to this just to kind of get it back up on its feet it wasn't being used much by the previous owner went through the fuel system dropped the fuel tank did a fuel pump and the little sock filter there did the fuel filter up in the engine bay really nice straight truck did your basic tune-up spark plugs cap rotor Plug wires were still awesome. They last a long time if they're good OEM ones. What else did we do? Front brakes, rotors and pads. We packed the wheel bearings. All the belts. Uh, put a factory muffler on it. The original muffler just had a little bit of Swiss cheese going on on it. A few little holes in the back. Um, we had two oxygen sensors, air filter, of course oil change. Replaced a bunch of vacuum lines that were just getting kind of brittle. Really, really nice. It's got a lot of original paint on it. This passenger door, this quarter, the whole rear, and this whole side, from what I can tell, is all original paint. Looks like a fender up front left was painted. Hood was painted. And I believe the roof was painted. Although there's not, not much signs of it. Definitely no signs of any damage up there or anything like that. The fender being painted could have had a little fender bender in its past. Although it does have a clean car fax, which, you know, I'll take it for what it's worth. It's 32 years old. A few little scuffs. On these end cow, you can still get these, you know, some some parts you can get for these, some parts you can't. But it's got a lot of the missing stuff that often is missing, I should say, like the, the trim on the uh, on the rockers down there. All four original mud flaps. It's got the right center caps. They hadn't been repainted. They still got the gold lettering on them and whatnot. You know, the grill's not blacked out like so many are. Take this paper floor mat out of here some of the highlights of this car other than being rust free and I mean absolutely rust free first place one of these things will rust at least in my opinion is you'll see bubbling up in here nothing like that you know people talk about the drip rails and the rear fenders you'll see it in that door jam before any of that um, but anyways beautiful original door panels unobtainium original speaker grills you know this is all in great shape. I did inner scrapers, which you could still get from Toyota. This had a little crack, replaced this guy. It's a new window switch. The other one just had some wear on it. You know, this I bought this for me. I didn't buy it to resell. And so I did some things that most people wouldn't dare do. Brand new OEM dash, that wasn't cheap. There was one little crack in the other one, just from the California sun. And it just bothered me. So I've got a dash for it. Original carpet's got a few stains on them. Nothing wild or crazy. I hadn't really tried going after those too hard. You know, original radio. Nothing aftermarket. I'm just, I, I can't stand, you know, people do some crazy things to these vehicles. And, they, and that's up to them. That's fine if they want to do that. But 
this was just too much of a survivor no lift kit nothing like that you know the tires are 31 10 50 15 so just a little bit above stock but it's the perfect size for this this rig if you, if you ask me i'll zoom out a little bit a little bit better for the interior headliner's nice no rips or tears a little dusty maybe that's about it though rear heat and everything still works all the power windows work power locks work although one of the doors you sometimes have to help it up just a little, a little bit older you know replace the hatch struts you know just little stuff and as nice as these tail lights are i thought they were aftermarket but they're not they're toyota made in japan just stuff you can't find tailgate panels in pretty good shape a little bit of wear and this truck's got 207,000 miles on it original miles a little bit of carpet tear there i thought about replacing it just never got around to it and too many other projects it's still got the jack and toolkit in here this rubber mat was in here when i got it and it's definitely handy the carpet underneath is actually in pretty good shape a few little stains no rips or tears or anything like that just you know dirty original rear speaker grills it's missing one little trim piece over here don't know why that was missing haven't been able to find it um, everything else is there it's got the right the right headrests and everything thought that was neat never been removed from when it was new made in japan you know again no rust bone dry nice and clean uh, oh that's right I did replace this rear trunk seal that wasn't cheap but it on a heavy rain it was letting just a little bit of water in back there on the sill so I replaced it still got the original body shop they used a different body shop on the earlier trucks this is the later one that company there just some kind of unique details to the the later the later trucks the original books they're even labeled 90 which is cool they only made the fj62 it was like i don't know august of 87 to maybe september of 89 or no no i think it was maybe january of 90 right in there somewhere so two and a half years roughly Something that I thought was interesting. I've had a lot of these and usually you have your unleaded fuel only sticker on the outside of the gas door here. And that's something I look for to know if it's been painted or not. Well, this has not been painted. And I guess on the later trucks, from what I can tell, they actually put that sticker right there. This has absolutely not been painted. Original, original paint through here, original trim and seals. Everything's nice, nothing's hard or crunchy, still soft. I mean, just really hard to find a unmolested one of these I mean they're such reliable vehicles you know you can find them with 300 400,000 miles on them no problem this one at 207 believe it or not is getting to be considered low mileage legs nice and tight gaps are good everything closes properly pop the hood here it's got an aftermarket cruise control stock there. That does not work. Um, I've seen a bunch of them with that though. I think I believe it was a dealer installed deal if I'm not mistaken. Give the camera work here while I put the prop rod up. All right, there we go. Nice and stock, all original. Made from California, of course. All the smog stuff, still intact. So this is absolutely 50 state compliant, no doubt about it. Just a nice, tidy, original engine bay. Uh, we did replace the radiator, it had a small leak. Got a correct radiator for it. That wasn't cheap, but it was the right thing to do. And when we did that, we did upper and lower radiator hoses. Uh, the belts, like I mentioned, 
all the tune-up parts. Got all these vacuum lines from Toyota, OEM stuff. All the parts I put on this were either directly from Toyota or the same brand that was used originally. A lot of Denso stuff, and, uh, Ace and, and things like that. Um, did a brake fluid flush and we did the front brakes. I've put about 2,500 miles on this truck. Drives great. Um, did all the tie rod ends up front. Did an alignment with that, of course. Um, did a new steering stabilizer. Uh, new battery when I got it. Just a lot of little things, too much to mention. I mean, it had an aftermarket radio when I got it. I, I had the original radio uh, put in. I actually did it myself. It took a little while to do it right, but I just can't stand the aftermarket radios in these trucks. Replace the uh, front door speakers, they were blown out. Let's see, we're going here. All four speakers are working. Power antenna works. Turn this down. Yeah. Fires right up. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? Coolant temp sensor. The It's got a cold start injector sensor. Uh, I think they call it a timer. Replace that, replace the thermostat. When we did the kind of cooling system overhaul with the radiator and hoses. Um, I've got the, uh, I've got the cigarette lighter, the original one here. It might be the center console. I hadn't cleaned out, hadn't cleaned this thing out all the way yet. I still got some of my stuff in here, but I know it's in here, so that's included. Um, all the nighttime illumination works. I can't stand when it doesn't. Um, yeah, ice cold AC. Hot heat. Yeah, what else can I tell you? It's a really nice truck. Can be hard to find another one that's this stock and, and original and from sunny California. So uh, absence of rust is key on these. I see more and more listed with common rust listed oh they've all got it well uh, this one doesn't so if you hate rust like i do this might be the one for you you can see the full listing on our website niche-motors.com might throw it up on ebay we'll see i don't think it's going to last long though give us a call feel free to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more car walk around stuff kind of a unique mix just some different things let us know in the comments if I said something wrong. I'm sure I did. But uh, trying to represent things the best I can. Thanks so much.